Hey everyone, in today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to create watermarks in GIMP. Now you want to make sure that your background color is something other than white because the watermark we are going to design is white. So I'm going to create a text layer and make sure that the color is white. And I am just going to type out what I want my watermark to say. And you can also add images with their backgrounds removed, which I don't really recommend because it's just going to clutter your watermark. But you can add brushes to make your watermark a little bit more unique if you have a brush you really want to use. So I, for the purpose of this tutorial, I am going to add a brush to my watermark. So I'm going to create a new layer and I am going to go over to my brush tool. And I've selected this Chinese dragon brush. And I'm just going to place it on the left side of my watermark. And I'm going to click a couple of times to bring the opacity up on the brush. Now I want to merge this text layer with this brush layer to create one watermark. So I'm going to right click and go down to merge down. Now you can leave your watermark like this and bring the opacity down. But a lot of watermarks nowadays have a shadow. So I'm gonna show you how to do that before we turn the opacity down. So I want to right click on this watermark layer, go to alpha to selection, create a new layer, take my bucket tool, make sure my foreground color is black. And I'm just going to fill that. Go to select, none. Now I want to take my move tool and move this black watermark a little bit down and over. And then I want to take this white watermark layer and drag it above the black watermark layer. So you can see that creates a shadow effect. Now to create one watermark with this, we need to right click and merge down. Now to create the classic watermark effect, we are going to go up to the opacity and bring it down. This is so when you put it on different photos, the photo will shine through the watermark while still being stamped by your brand. Now to save this as a watermark, you want to make sure you get rid of the background and export this as a PNG file. And then you can go up to file, open as layers on a photo that you want to watermark. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.